Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to bring you guys my first impressions of a game called Dying Light. If you're into games on my channel, you know, zombie survival games, etc, etc, you probably already know about this game, and you should also know that it's actually not out yet. It's coming out in just over a month and a half on January the 27th. This game, which I'm playing right here, is actually an early press build. It's about two hours of gameplay, but that's going to be more than enough to see, you know, what the game's like. So far, I've played it, you know, just to see roughly how it runs, etc, etc, and it looks really good good it runs really good so it'll actually run good on your PC which is nice and it's also fun like most AAA games these days I just avoid because I think I just won't have any fun with them but this title I guess is a bit different this is made by Techland if you guys didn't already who made Dead Island and most people say Dying Light is like a combination of Dead Island and Mirror's Edge so it's got the parkour aspect but also zombies and you know hitting shit with melee weapons it feels good it feels really good Anyway, you get the idea. Hopefully, you guys should be able to see whether you're interested in the game or not from this short series. It's not going to be that long. Like I said, two hours of gameplay. There's going to be some cutscenes at the start, which I'm not going to talk over. But then we'll get into actual gameplay, so let's hop straight into the game and see what it's like. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Haran. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. Jump in 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the Varian structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back! Still 
Alright, well that cinematic was a bit longer than I thought it was going to be because I didn't watch it the first time, but um, it was still pretty cool, right? So, I mean, it's actually been a decent amount of time since it's been a triple-A zombie title. Although I'll talk about that in one second, I think there's some more talking here, but yeah. You pinch him. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked! What? He blinked again! What if he's a zombie? Yo, I'm not in a zombie yet. But yeah, I think the last title which came out, which was like a zombie game, was... Or a triple-A zombie game, was uh, Dead Rising 3. But that was, you know, that's kind of a, a jokey game. It's a lot of shit comedy there. It's like, it's like serious, grimy zombie shit. And look at the game, man. It looks pretty hot, right? It does. Uh, so, I mean, people might not really know what to expect from a triple-A title. Because everyone's been playing all of these... Uh, I'm not going to say shitty, you know, because I've enjoyed them. But uh, zombie survival... Um, indie games, so yeah, it's nice to see a triple A game showing what happens when you put you a bit of money in the development. Days like a dead man than scare children. Off to a great start, thirty-one. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room one ninety. The boss will brief you. So, what do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. You know, as with any game, there's a bit of tutorial at the start. I mean, I can't explain what's going on here, although you'll probably see in a second, 31. you know. Who the fuck's 31? Number. Well, that's me. Um, basically, I'm, well, I can talk to her and she'll explain. Excuse explain. me? Explain, what's going on? Your number. You're the 31st infected. I'm the 18th. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizin. One more new infected. One more runner gone. Cool story. So I'm the 31st infected. How exciting! What happens when you get infected? I don't know. because of this guy. But yeah, I need to go talk to the boss up there, and then uh, after that we'll go actually outside and go like see zombies and shit. Uh, if you don't know why the game's called Dying Light as well, basically night time shit goes to shit. Yeah, thanks for pointing away. I mean, there's an arrow already there, but yeah. I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. I don't like that guy. That guy's gonna die. Hello! So he's over on his balcony right here, and I guess he's gonna talk for a while, but again, I haven't listened to Cinemax, so what you got to tell me, Mr. Boss? This fucking cum range of shit. I can't raise Mark at all. Hey, I'm looking for the. Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I. You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antison was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the antizin meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not I'm not lazy. I'm just hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That guy's got a bit of an attitude. Um, as well as, you know, being a pretty cool single player, lazy. it is an open Little world, shit. and um, I was actually looking on a Wikipedia page a bit, because I haven't looked into the game for a while, and there is, like, multiplayer, well, multiplayer single player kind of thing, was that, yeah. I mean, the game is coming out in two months, so there might still be some minor bugs, because this is a press build, but it should mostly be good. But, yeah, so some pretty cool multiplayer features with being able to play as a zombie, I guess, against your friends in the single player kind of scenario in a massive open world, so that sounds pretty good, right? Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Yeah, man. 
Alright, let's go up to the Thane floor. Man, it sounds like a really good floor, you know. Thane's a really lucky number, I heard. Oh, wait, it's not. That means everyone's gonna die now. <laughs> the reason I don't talk in cinematics, by the way, is because last time I made a Let's Play, everyone got angry when I did it. I'm not sure if it's a. Jesus. How many people died here? I'm not sure if people really care about it, but I think it was in Bioshock Infinite last Let's Play I really did, so I guess that's a bit different, but yeah, the Thane floor looks pretty good, you know, there's a bit of blood. A baby got abducted by some spooky aliens or some shit. Oh, iPhone Lucia, what's up? Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost what? my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I... I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisent ASAP, Help! hadn't you? Help! Somebody! What the hell? What's up, man? So I've been, like, passed out for a long-ass fucking time, and we're now gonna see the melee. If you guys have seen Dead Elements melee, you know, you hit shit and it feels good. I don't like to com constantly compare games to DayZ, but, you know, and this is single player, which is a bit different, but watch. Bam! Bam! I felt pretty good, you know? And look, there's blood coming out of his ass, so, oh. Oh, wow. That was good. So, most of the things you'll be using will be melee weapons, but I think you can get guns as well. I'm, Jesus, I'm not sure. Jesus, you all right, man? <laughs> I cut my arm, getting away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> God damn it! That was... That was my brother. I came down to see him, and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, okay. this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy so here's got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. We get to show off the uh, truly great crafting. You went after Mark? Is it, is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. So okay, it's a bit second and then I can go do some more stuff. Well, no, I think I need to talk to this person first and then I go craft some stuff. So I need to go talk to Mark quickly and then I get to look around for crafting stuff and hey, hold still. help out Lena Marky will be here Boy over here. Goss! You've got to find some goss! And alcohol! Oh, and alcohol! Combine them! That will stop the bleeding! <laughs> Please hurry! I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. So, you know, what good would an open world be without a shit ton of crafting and exploration? So, you've got these little orange boxes, you can pick shit out of them. And look at that view right there, it looks pretty hot, right? Uh, but we'll be down there very soon, I'd imagine. So, yeah, we're just gonna find some loot from these orange boxes and then we can combine it together. So, if you spend a shit ton of time in a beautiful open world, then you'll be able to craft some stuff which you couldn't do otherwise, you know? Exploring gets you places. There's some alcohol here as well. Wait, oh, there it is. I was gonna say. But don't worry, I've only played like the first 20 minutes, you know. I'll tell you guys when I've stopped uh, playing. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't like completely fucked or anything. I, mean, I wouldn't imagine it was, but it's an early build, so I was a bit spooked out, you know. I mean, the game's not coming out for two months. Why would I even have it right now? I don't even know, man. Where did I get this code from? So, there's another fridge right there. Ooh, a tin can. I didn't actually get that one last time. Oh, and, and this place right here as well. Shit. Uh, nothing in here. So, it looks like there's one more piece of loot, which is in this room right here. Somewhere. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give so this now, a shot. How do I craft? I forget. So press I to open up a blueprints menu, and then we can craft one medikit with one alcohol and one gauze. So let's go ahead and double click, and whoa! Boom! Did it. That was easy. And we've got some alcohol, well, not some alcohol, we've got some, uh, a tin of can, a tin of cans? A can of, it's a tin can, not, a, yeah, I've got that spare anyway, so whatever. There you go. Wow, I made a piece of cloth. <laughs> Okay, who's wow, it looks like it's He's gonna do a fuck ton of good. Let me see him. Goes in alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. I think Mark's dead. Rip Mark. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. So it's the first zombie in the game. I mean, if you get bigger items, you know, to smash off zombies' heads, it feels a bit better. Well, oh, there's XP 31. as well. Shit, dog. So this game's got everything really... <laughs> You expect from AAA titles these days? AAA open world titles? You know? I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. It's good. I don't mind it. Good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. So, I don't even know how the fuck I get to Raheem now. Do I go back? Yeah, I go back this way. Okay, it just wasn't enabled. There we go. 
Alright, let's go back up. So I guess floor 13 is down there, so we're going to go back up to the top and talk to Raheem. I don't even know what floor this is, but it seems a bit, uh, a bit less fucked. I also did talk about like supply drops and stuff like that, and you would have seen it with Star Wars, like kind of bandit -y guys. If you've seen some gameplay of this already, you'll know that's a big part of it. So you'll see supply drops land, and you'll have to fight over the supply drops with other, um, other like, groups of survivors. So we'll see how that works, like I said, once we get to a floor All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. I love how Jade's got, like, makeup on, but she's got, like, shit smears all over her face as well. It's beautiful. Yeah, what's Rahim talking about? Trying to blow up shit? What a bad boy, man. He's, like, two years old. Who are you? What's this dude's name? I don't know. I guess he's not too talkative. Hmm. I'm gonna talk to Raheem and get the fuck out of here and go do some shit. So... So, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Alright, then. So we can even change our clothes, guys. Look at these amazing features, man. I think really the only AAA title I've played recently though that I've actually been able to play. Maybe just because of addiction, but it's Far Cry 4. And I think this has got everything in terms of like addiction features that Far Cry 4 had. You know, it doesn't have towers, but other than that, you know. Or maybe there is towers, or something like towers in this game, I don't even know. Not that a game needs towers to be good, that's not what I'm saying, but there we go. So, we've got cash as well okay, actually. Raheem, I'm ready. So cash XP. Where do I find Brecken? Cool. Not so fast, dirty one. If you're going to earn your key, Whoa, I've got legs. Have to find out Shit, dog. You've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. Okay. Gym? What are you talking about? It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. Let me out. There we go. Yo, we're seeing a gym. Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? How did you get all the way over there in like zero seconds? He's on the crane over there, controlling her like a complete well, twat. What are you waiting for? Get over here. Oh shit! Yeah, that's a bug as well. I don't know why, but when you hold shift and uh, space, I mean it's probably gonna be fixed when the game's released, but it opens up a chat, so you can type uh, you can type in chat to your friends. Obviously, when you're playing right multiplayer, but I am not a playing crane? multiplayer, so. On a crane. God damn it! I need to turn that off. I don't know how to. <laughs> it's fine. I'll just stop holding shift and W. You know, who needs to sprint and jump? That's silly. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I should be wearing a parachute for this. Let's have a quick look around, you know. So, I don't know how big the world's gonna be. I mean, I guess there's no, like, big city places, but who knows, man? Who knows? What's up, dog? Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, alright? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Yo, it's a pretty big fall. Are you, nuts? Are you tricking myself? me? Don't be a wimp. Oh, come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Elio. Ah! Ah! Raheem. My leg. Jesus, don't move. I'll get help. Ah. I was just fucking with you. Haha, <laughs> he Son tricked me. Bitch. What? Raheem, number one tricky trickster. Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. Okay. Look guys, I'm learning to run. Ah! I know Holy how to run shit. now, guys. Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing. So the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up oh, for you. Oh, cool. That's our talk to the boys. 
using the parkour to, you know, outgame them zombies, especially at night time. I mean, I don't know how much nighttime changes the zombies' behavior, but I'm guessing since the game's name called uh, Dying Light, probably quite a lot, you know? 